What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the 365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is forward an email. So forward an email does exactly what it sounds like, it allows you to forward an email programmatically through Power Automate. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate, I have a flow here, and I've got a simple trigger which is when an email arrives at V3, and we're just triggering this when it drops into my inbox. Then we click on the new step, click on the Microsoft 365 Out for, uh, Outlook Connector, which is newly rebranded, it used to be the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we can scroll down until we find forward and email v2. Select that, and then we get a few different uh, parameters that we can put in. So the first one is the message ID. So this is the identifier of the message. So this is why we have the, when a new email uh, arrives, v3 trigger. Um, is so that I can use a dynamic content from that to then uh, trigger this. So um, I can put this in, um, type in ID and find message ID. We can get this in, in other ways, uh, but this is just an easy way to show you how to get this. Um, the two is a semicolon separated list of the recipients of who you want to forward this, this email to. So in my instance, I have a Office 365 group or Microsoft 365 group, as they may now be called, um, from uh, one of my uh, one of my things, either SharePoint or Planner or something like that. Um, but it's called mcj at techservicesgroup.microsoft.com. So we're going to forward the email to that mailbox because when you create an Office 365 group or a Microsoft 365 group, you automatically get things like a, a mailbox and a calendar, and I'm just going to send this to that mailbox. Original mailbox address is a shared mailbox. So if I selected this, if I had any shared mailboxes, they would appear in this list. But what this does is this allows you to identify messages that may be going into a shared mailbox, um, and it looks up the shared mailbox and the ID to find the right message. Um, and we also have comment. So um, the comment is if you want to add anything onto the email when it comes in. So I could say something like, um, please see this email I have forwarded in my absence. Uh, I don't think it's how you spell absence, but uh, who cares? Uh, I can't spell. Um, so that's it. So let's let's try this out. So we'll click on test, and I'll perform the trigger action. We'll hit save and test, and then it'll be triggered. So we'll go over to my email. In here, I've got an email to my address and it says forward email. Hi, this email should be forwarded immediately. So I can send this on and we can go back to our flow. So the flow will trigger when the email arrives. So I'll switch over to my emails. And what we're waiting for is that email to arrive into here. Uh, and once this email arrives, it'll forward it on. So. Uh, we can see the emails running and immediately we can see it says you forwarded this email at this time and this date. So it's it's come in and it's immediately forwarded. If I go down to my groups, my Office 365 groups or Microsoft 365 groups, I can see the forwarded email. It says please see this email I have forwarded in my absence. So this has immediately worked. It's immediately sent that email that we've got in over to, over to the mailbox and we can see that it ran successfully in here. So this could be really useful, like, you know, people that have uh, time off or people that have, um, you know, any sorts of things like I'm a consultant, so I may be on site, um, pandemic, uh, you know, permitting. Um, I could be on site and things like that uh, and, and be out of the office for a couple of days and not really have access to my emails. I could be on training. I could be at a conference um, and I may need um, certain emails to be picked up by my colleagues in my absence. If people are sending them to me and they get my out of office, they may just ignore it and just think, well, he'll just look at it when, I, when he gets back and, you know, um, or it's his responsibility to do it because I've sent the email now and therefore. But using something like this forward an email action, we could send it on to um, someone in my absence, so if send it on to my manager or another colleague that may be able to help a customer, especially if it comes in with, you know, um, with some important information or a project or something that's, you know, related. Um, so yeah, there's loads of great uses for this, but as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.